welcome to uh, the first conversation of the year. And it must be the anniversary of when the uh, uh, Blue Poles was purchased. Oh. I didn't hear the beginning of it. Oh. Who knows what was paid for the Blue Poles picture? Anyone know? One point three million. <laughs> Lindsay Thompson was the acting premier of a premier of Australia of Victoria at that stage. A, a nice chap. Uh, said you could buy two primary schools for that. <laughs> and fair enough, that was the thinking, but that was so saying. Would anybody have any idea how many people have seen that painting, loved it, which James Mollison purchased, and what its value today would be? Two hundred million. It's pretty, ama it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Stuart, what do you say to people um, when they ask you how do you engage? How do you enjoy painting? There's a thing that I say to people, and I think this is very important. Just remember that your eyes are only the lenses. It's your brain that does the seeing. And when you're in front of a work of art, the distance between that work of art and your eyes belongs to you, not the artist. The artist has done their work. The, work, the painting will work in a way to, equal to the strength of the work and the integrity of it and what was put in it. It'll work for certain people because at that moment it means something to you, to the person who's received the recipient of that cultural act, of that of that soothsaying, of whatever it is. That's why this is culture. That's what culture is. That's why it makes us better people. If you stand in front of that painting and try and work out what the artist wants to do and what he's saying, you'll be wrong. You might try a thousand times and you'll be wrong. But if you relax and let it enter you, you'll be right first time and every time, and that's the growth of an artist. You can't say, I'm an artist. What you can say is, I'm a painter, I'm a sculptor, you know, I'm a printmaker, etc. It is a, it, an artist is an honour bestowed upon you by others. And, and you, Arthur Boyd used to write on his passport, painter. I used to think he was a house painter. It, it's the humbleness of it all. I'm not, if you discovered that you were an artist early on, the best thing to do would be to run to the hills and close and change your name because it's not a pretty existence. It's very, very difficult. In fact, my motto in the art world, having observed it, for artists and others mostly, is once you've got it right, you've got it wrong because there is no attaining success. It's really got to be pushing success or pushing us beyond that level. So you're a famous artist, you're showered in money, you'll pitch yourself a great deal. Everybody wants the signature, take your clothes, you know, the grass cloth signature. That is an absolute position of hell of somebody who is utterly fabulous. And I feel in the sense that all of life is midnight, that's us. And life, not, well, maybe not you, but it's me. And life is quarter two. And it's that artist, artist are quarter two. So it's that little bit left that's not cured, that makes, you know, pushes, it's like, you know, getting the last bit out of a tube of toothpaste. It's that part that makes them get it out of their soul. And that's, the, it's, it's the inability to get to midnight that makes great art. And if you do get to midnight, you've had it. And you either kill yourself or become a drunk or boring. And it's the most sad thing. It's really difficult. And if you look at somebody like Charles Blackman, for instance, who's been remarkable, um, quite quite remarkable in his life. He did get to 12, and his life's been an absolute purgatory ever since because he's just a petition of himself. And the worst part about it is he knows it, so that's why he drinks. And he's been helped off that at the moment. But it's a miserable life. It's miserable. And it's, you know, there's no stage of an artist's life that's happy. The thing in the American Constitution, the pursuit of happiness, it's absolutely bloody crazy <laughs> because there isn't such a thing. It's a reward. We can't thank you enough. For this? Yes, I mean, obviously. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, well, let's just start. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep on thinking. <laughs>